see Nigerian don't weak. But for the computer, oh, you both don't weak. Wave there, wave there, wave there, sir. No, no, wave, wave the computer, wave the computer. Hello, yes, sir. Walk past walk, no reason now. <laughs> Jackie Chan. Yeah, what's good? Hello. Yes, I know the real Jackie Chan. It's AI. <laughs> In this video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to install Diffis Life on your laptop and also I'm going to be teaching you guys how to swap your face on video call. So watch it from the beginning to the end. I'm going to be doing it on WhatsApp. Now, what laptop am I using for this tutorial? The laptop I'm using is an NVIDIA laptop. It's called Acer Predator. You can get it from the link in the description of this video. And it's coming with a 30% discount. So what do you need for this video call? The first thing you need is a webcam. You can see this webcam I put here. I don't know if you guys can see it. This is the webcam you're going to need. Okay, it's called a Logitech webcam so i'm going to explain the reason why i'm using this webcam to you guys in a bit now my laptop has a webcam so i'm not going to use my laptop webcam it's not as good as this logitech webcam so what's the first thing we are going to do here so um the first thing you want to do is to disable this camera on your laptop you understand because most people have been complaining that the one on their laptop is not as sharp as external cameras and if you need this external camera check the link in the description so first thing i want to do is that i'm going to click on the window button and i'm going to search for camera okay so you can see camera right i'm going to click on this button you see manage cameras i'm going to move my mouse there you, you see manage cameras i'm going to move my mouse to manage cameras and i'm going to click on manage cameras so once i click on manage cameras you can see that there are two cameras showing my laptop camera okay you can see my laptop camera is a fhd so i can either enable it or disable it but i'm going to disable it so if it's enabled disable it that's if you want to use an external camera with a laptop that already has a camera for the video call so after disabling it okay we're going to enable this logitech but for it to be enabled it must be connected to your laptop you can see my own is connected so it has to be connected or else it will not work sure you understand so mine is connected no stories no jokes now to the biggest question how do you download and install diffis live let me show you guys so first of all let me go to my chrome browser okay see my chrome browser here i'm just gonna move my mouse here i'm gonna click on chrome and i'm just gonna come to my search bar and i'm gonna search for deep face live you guys can see the face live right i'm gonna click on the face live and when i click on the face live you can see this link over here is in the description of this video so if you want to download the face live check the link in the description so i'm gonna click on this link and when i click on this link it's gonna take me here so when it takes me here i'm gonna scroll down okay and when i scroll down i'm gonna see different lists so these are like the requirements what your laptop needs to have okay you can see them 4 gig or 32 gig windows 10 all those things so i'm going to scroll down you're going to, you're going to see where i'm going to download the software i'm going to move my, my, my mouse over to the link that is going to take me to the download page i'm going to click on it so once i click on it you're going to see something like requesting for folder so over here you're going to see four different types so we're going to go for the one that is nvidia okay because it's for nvidia laptops and the one with the highest size so this is the one with the highest size you can see it so i'm just going to click on these three buttons i'm going to click on download download as zip so because i've already downloaded this file there is no need for me to download it again it's already my download so let's say you've downloaded the file okay let's say you followed all my instructions and downloaded the file up to this point what's the next step so after downloading the file the first thing you're going to do is that you're going to click on your file explorer and you're going to go to downloads okay you can see downloads and you can see deep face life nvidia so in order to open this file there's an extractor i used let me show you guys the extractor so if you want to download the extractor you can get it from the link in the description or you can just come over here and search for 
WinRAR. So when I see WinRAR, I'm going to click on WinRAR. This is what I used to open my file. I'm going to go here. Okay. The link is in the description. And I'm going to click on download WinRAR. You can see download WinRAR. I'm going to download it. So I've already downloaded it before. So there is no need for me to download it. But after downloading it, you just install it like a normal setup. You understand? Then after installing it, you just go to your file explorer. Then you go to your your defense life you can see so you're going to click on deep double click on defense life and when you double click on defense life they're going to show you something like this you're just going to click on x and you're going to click on extract to all right and you're going to click on extract to okay desktop new folder then okay so i've already extracted my own already so there's no need for me to extract it all right so after extracting it you see it like this in your home page so now the next thing you're going to do is another extraction but you're going to double click on it okay and you're going to click on extract so because i've already extracted my deep face life as you can see here there is no need to extract it again so what i'm going to do is i'm going to double click on this folder and i'm going to open my deep face life so once i open it up you can see deep face life showing so remember you have to plug your camera okay your external camera to your laptop for the best quality now what's the next thing i want to do so let me reset this whole interface first let me reset everything so you guys can follow it step by step so i'm going to say reset module settings so it's going to load up again and it's going to show me a full interface let me make it full screen for you guys so once you've gotten to this stage let me tell you what i'm going to do so over here you have your camera source so this way i'm going to choose your camera so you can if i if i click on here okay i'm going to see logitech camera okay that's the camera we're going to use so over here okay your face detector is vo5 then device i'm going to select my gp my nvidia gpu if you don't have a gpu use your cpu so i'm going to select my gpu okay when i select it I'm going to come to this face marker and in the face marker I'm going to select my GPU because this is a gaming laptop so if your laptop is not a gaming laptop it's going to hang but you, are, you can still come here okay to the face marker and select your CPU so I'm going to use my GPU instead so over here okay all the load is going to be on the GPU and also make sure that your laptop is plugged okay you can see my own laptop is plugged behind make sure that your laptop is plugged so you can get the fastest performance then over here we have two options we have face swap insights and face swap dfm so i'm going to use face swap dfm because we're working with with because we're working with deep fake models so i'm going to click on select and i'm going to click on my graphics card first then i'm going to select the model i want to use so you can see different people that you can use okay to prank your friends so i'm just going to prank my guy using jackie chan so i'm going to select jackie chan okay and jackie chan is loading up and it has loading loaded and it has loaded up so over here i'm going to select the camera i'm using which is logitech webcam and once i select it you can see it showing light here you understand so let's just say i adjust my camera so you guys can see me but i turn my head it's turning his head and um, it's really draining the performance on my laptop if i blink my eyes you can see everything so you guys can see me if i turn my head you can see anything i do is doing and uh i can't i like i open my mouth ah you can see everything so because i did not position my light well you understand that's why it's uh looking like ai so one thing you have to know is that you have to position your light well to get the best results if not it's gonna be looking like ai you understand so Position your light well so you can get the best results. Now, if I look at this, my light here, you can see it's not positioned well, it's positioned anyhow. So, I'm just trying to make a fast tutorial for you guys to understand. So, let's move on to the next part. So, the next part is this you can see this window button, okay? I'm just going to move my mouse here to the window button. I'm going to click on window once. So, once I click on it and I move my camera up, you see that it's meant to be showing my face okay if it's not showing my face what i'm going to do is i'm going to come over here okay i'm going to click on merged thread and you can see that it's looking way better so if you want this software check the link in the description 
or follow the beginning of this tutorial. Now let's move on to the next part, which is connecting it into OBS Studio. So to connect it into OBS Studio now, what you are going to do is this. You are going to open up your OBS. This is OBS Studio here. You are going to open it up. And once you open it up, you are going to come to this plus section here. You are going to click on plus. You are going to click on window capture. Then you are going to click on OK. And once I click on OK, I'm going to select the window. And I'm going to select the face live output. So you guys can see the face live output here. The next thing I'm going to do is this. I'm going to go to this cursor capture section. I'm going to untick it. And once I untick it, I'm going to click on OK. So you guys can see that this thing is not positioned well. You understand? So what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to move my camera up here. So I'm going to click on edit. I'm going to click on transform. And I'm going to go. I'm going to. I'm going to click on transform. And I'm going to click on fit to screen. Okay, you can see fit to screen here. So once I click on fit to screen, it's going to fit the whole screen. So you guys can see. So you guys can see how everything is. You can see that it has fit the whole thing into the screen. So if you are enjoying this video, please and please subscribe, like. It's not easy to make all these videos. Um, let's keep going with the tutorial. So if you want to make the video call on WhatsApp because I'm pranking my friend, this is what you're going to do. First of all, you're going to carry your Android phone and you're going to go to link a device. They're going to say use mobile data. Then you're going to unlock your phone. So once you've unlocked your phone, the next thing you're going to do is this. You're going to click on your Windows button and then you're going to search for WhatsApp. So if you've not installed WhatsApp on your laptop, download WhatsApp on your laptop, you understand? So I'm just going to click on enter and I'm going to open up WhatsApp. So on WhatsApp screen, you're going to just click get started. So I'm going to click on get started and it's going to load up a QR code. Now I'm going to scan this QR code with my phone and you can see immediately logging in so i want to prank somebody on a video call and see how he reacts so i'm just going to name it laptop okay so let me just name it laptop so i'm going to click on save so once i've saved it i'm just going to leave my phone down over here so what's the next thing the next thing now is to download some softwares that can make you to call on whatsapp so let's download them together so first software i'm going to download is NDI 62. So when I open up Chrome, I'm going to search for NDI 62. So the link is already in the description of this video if you need it. So I'm just going to click on this NDI tools and I'm going to go here and download it. It's in the description of this video if you need it. So after downloading this NDI 62, you're going to install it, okay? And when you install it, you're going to click on NDI. So, you're going to open up the NDI app. So, when you open it up, it's going to look like this. So, what you're going to do is this. You're going to click on this webcam. You can see this webcam feature. The, all this is while Diffis Live is running. You're going to double click on this webcam feature. And when you double click on this webcam feature, you're going to see it over here. Double click on it. So, once I reach here, I'm going to click on settings, you understand, desktop, then OBS. I'm going to do it for four of them, settings, desktop, OBS. So when I now open OBS Studio, okay, the next thing I want to do on OBS, the next thing I want to do on OBS Studio is to go to tools, distro AV, and enable this main output, okay, enable this, then click on OK. Then click on start virtual camera. So now I'm going to go to WhatsApp and prank the person. Hello, it's Jackie Chan. Yeah, what's good? Hello. I'm fine. I'm fine. Yeah. So this is a prank. I'm not the real Jackie Chan. This is my face. You can see me. It's AI. Wow. <laughs> right guys, so hope you guys fully understood 
how to install Diffus Live. If you didn't understand, type what you didn't understand in the comment section. Please and please don't forget to subscribe, like. This video was not easy. And shout out to everyone who made this video possible. Alright guys, thank you guys for watching. And see you guys in my next video.